Okay guys, episode 136. Um, I'm gonna do a movie review because we're all set to go. And now we're having another thunderstorm. So, uh, we gotta wait it out. So I'm gonna do the movie, Tell Me How I Die. Uh, it's a movie I've been wanting to see for a very long time. And you can finally watch it on Tubi for free. So, um... I actually have notes. I took notes because I watched two really good movies, so I actually took notes on it. Um, make this easier. So, the only thing is I'm having trouble holding all this stuff, but that's okay. So, this movie, um, is a thriller. And it's from 2016, so yeah, I waited a long time for it to come on to to be and you guys should check it out because right now it's on there for free like I said all right so 2016 it's one hour and 47 minutes um Google gives it a 76% rating uh, they have it as suspenseful and menacing dropping it again um, all right so this is about, and, and I wrote this, this isn't like, when I read these things, it's normally stuff I just prepared in advance. It's not like the stuff I'm copying down. It's my own notes. Anyway, um, because I do too many of them and then I forget. So, this movie's about a group of college students, um, and they participate in a clinical drug trial, not knowing what is going to happen or if they got the placebo. They're not allowed to leave or have cell phones once injected. Um, they go to like um, like a nurse's station and inject it like that, like an IV. Um, but I think I believe they do half and half. Half gets drug, half gets the placebo, and then you know nothing happens for them. But they don't know who is what. Um, so after the trial, um, they get paid. I think it was a thousand dollars, but I really don't remember. But I know that the whole the whole reason why they were all pretty much doing it was just for the money. Um, they figured easy money because it was only supposed to be like a couple hours. It was supposed to be a short one. Um, but then they end up after to spend the night. And um, so instead, an unexpected side effect occurs, and um, they start seeing how others are going to die. And meanwhile, a killer arrives at the place. So just having, like, this terrible snowstorm. And so they've got, like, I don't know, two security guards and the one, I call him evil doctor. And, uh, one nurse or whatever he was. I'm not really quite sure, but he was kind of like a nurse. Um, and so everybody else left for the night. It's you know, terrible winter, uh, snowstorm, and this is, like, this huge building, and it's, like, in the middle of nowhere, but this thing is gigantic. It's where they do, like, all different kinds of testing for, um, different drugs, and they've done this one in the past, which they don't tell you. Whoops, spoiler alert. Um, but they have. They've done this before, so they have some ideas. And there's also the doctor that originally started the whole thing, However, he is not, you hear all the thunder. Um, however, he is not present for it. Uh, they let you know it's one of the first scenes of what happens to him and why he's not there. So I'm not gonna um, I'm not gonna do the spoiler alert. I'll just let you guys watch that one. Um. So anyway, I I do want to say the drug is is designed to create crystal clear memories so that's what they're told and i don't know if that's really what they were going for but obviously um that doesn't happen so anna nichols is played by virginia gardner den ferguson is played by nathan cress marcus is played by um Mark Furs. Kristen is played by Kirby Bliss Blayton. Uh, Scratch is played by um, Ryan Higa. I like that name though. Scratch. It's fun. Okay, so, and then what I call the um, evil doctor, but it's not, he's not called that in the movie. So, um, it's Dr. Germs, and he's played by William uh, 
Maputher. Um, so basically, Anna um, is the main one that, you know, you start watching her story or whatever, and she starts out talking to Den, and Marcus and Kristen kind of get involved in their little group, and they all realize how things are going, like, terribly wrong, and something is really going on there, like, two things are going wrong. I'm not going to say the two things, obviously, spoiler alerts, but, um, so those are the four that are like, all right, we got to get out of here, and then Scratch does follow, too. So the five of them are the ones that are, like, trying to escape, so that's, like, because the movie's really about, and on, then obviously the doctor, because he knows what's going on and is, um, busy, um, spoiler alert, but not really hiding, and, um, doesn't want to be a part of it, but wants to inject people with it. So, anyway, I'll do my warnings, because I actually wrote them down. Um, so, dog and cat, no. Bug, no. Um, drugs, they're, I think Scratch takes, um, some from the lab. So, they're the drugs that they used on them for other things, or for that one, or, like, all of them, and he, um, does steal them, and does inject himself. He took the placebo, and he does inject himself with the real drug, because of everything that's happening, I believe. Um, excessive gore, I'm gonna say no. Violence and death, yes. Um, clowns, no. Vomit, no. Blood, yes. Gross scenes, no. Um, hospital and mental institutions, I'm gonna like, no, they're at a, um, facility, and it's definitely, um, designed in some ways for, like, a hospital, uh, because they have, you know, doctors and nurses, and they do, um, test you and watch you and stuff like that, but it's not, like, a regular, you know, hospital and stuff. Suicide is yes, uh, there is, uh, one person that does suicide, but not because he wants to, because he has to, um... I don't want to get into it, but, uh, he's put in a situation where he doesn't really have a choice. It's either him or somebody else. Um, shaky cam, no. Uh, abortion, no. Rape, no. Sexual content, no. Nudity, no. Uh, I think that's it. Right? That's it. Yeah. Alright, so, I'm going with... One, two, three, four. Four stars. Um, I really liked it. I definitely would watch it again, and I definitely recommend it, and like I said, it was a movie I wanted to see anyway, so it wasn't really, like, some surprise to me. I was just shocked to actually see it finally. Uh, so, yeah, four stars. Definitely check it out. To be for free. Can't beat that. And, um, I have another really good one to do, and I'm probably just gonna do it now because, like I said, thunderstorm, and we're kinda stuck. Alright, so, go to the next one.